It really is the perfect time of year to find elm oysters. And if you love mushrooms, elm oyster is a very meaty and delicious mushroom. Look at that beautiful mushroom on that tree. Let's go get it and take a look. So I wanted to give you a closer look of the elm oyster. It's not your typical oyster, so, but very easy to recognize this beautiful mushroom. And I've eaten this a few times, so I can tell you it's actually really meaty, crunchy, and delicious. We're just gonna see if we can find some more. Only, the only problem I find with M oysters is that they're often really high up in the tree. So if you look at that one, it's gorgeous. Where lots of sunlight hits it. It's gonna be a beautiful, tasty mushroom, but it's just way too high to get. So we're gonna move on and see if we can find some more that are a little bit closer to the ground. Today's goal for me was to find elm oysters. It's the middle of October. It's the perfect season and weather in Ontario to find elm oysters. Again, if you are new to mushroom hunting, this is one of the easiest mushrooms to find and identify because they're like standalone on the trees and it's so easy to find. So if you spot it right here, this my friends is a beautiful edible elm oyster. One of the most beautiful elm oysters I've actually found. So just want to take this and show you what it actually looks like. If you find one of these, you're going to be in such a treat because they are super duper delicious. And, and this one is actually perfect for the picking and to cooking these. So we're just going to slice these up, dry saute them, wait for the water to kind of, you know, disappear and then it's ready to eat. But it's such a gorgeous, beautiful mushroom. Let's go and find some more. So today my goal is to find some elm oysters and I stumbled upon these ginormous honey mushrooms and you know I know honey mushrooms grow pretty big but I was just so surprised to see them this big on a tree. Let me just show you how big these actually are. I mean yeah normally honey mushrooms grow in a big uh, like a big bundle and I see a lot of them but this is quite big for a honey mushroom. Pretty cool find today. It's unbelievable. It's October and I keep finding these ginormous honey mushrooms and just so uh, happened to stumble upon them. So I'm going to actually harvest these dark honey mushrooms and give them a try. I've had many mushrooms before and I love them. So I'm not sure how these differ, but we're going to definitely give it a try because there's so many of them. I just can't resist picking them. There are some more right over here. Do you see them? Do you spot them right there? Just sticking out like sore thumbs. You see that? These are gorgeous. These, I'm gonna show you right here. Ta da! There's just so many of these. Okay, I don't know if you see this, but there's a big cluster of this, a big, huge cluster of honey mushrooms, and just, oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> just gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. Just a beautiful honey mushroom bunch right here. And one of the reasons why I love coming to the woods and, and just looking for mushrooms and hunting for mushrooms because then you find something like this and yeah, I get super excited. And you can call me a mushroom nerd, but just gorgeous, beautiful honey mushrooms right here. So you see some that are very mature that I'm not gonna harvest, but I am gonna harvest these ones here. They're very tender and still very young and delicious. If you can take a look at them, I'll show you. These are still really good and edible, just gorgeous. And of course, some are expired that I'm not even going to uh, consider eating, but definitely these young ones here are perfect for the picking. Beautiful honey mushrooms. It really is like finding a jackpot in the forest when you find these beautiful honey mushrooms. They are just ginormous the size of my hand. Rarely are they this big, so I'm just so excited to find these gorgeous mushrooms. Look at that oh, big cluster in the back too. My goodness. So I just spotted another gem, a beautiful elm oyster. Just look at how gorgeous they are. And they just kind of stick out like a sore thumb. And for sure, if you're walking in the woods in the forest, you, you'll be able to see these, I promise you. Just look up and you'll see these beautiful, gorgeous white mushrooms. Bright, so it's white, 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 white mushrooms just gorgeous. If you're in the woods and you're by yourself and you're short like me and you can't reach that gorgeous beautiful elm oyster, this is what you do. Buy yourself a stick and then you pull it down. Ba -dum! Got it. Harvested this beautiful gorgeous elm oyster mushroom. Wow.
beauty. Oh my goodness. Do you see what I see? <gasps> Double jackpots. There's two of them on this tree. Gorgeous. I'll just zoom up and let you take a look at this beautiful M oysters. Okay, so let's get the first one. This one right here. This one's actually pretty easy to get to. Just gonna give it a little poke. There we go. Got one of them here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just perfect. Look at that. Perfect. You would be surprised how high up honey mushrooms actually grow. These are bul bulbous, <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right, bulbous dark honey mushrooms and they're just ginormous. Look how big they get on this tree. Just gorgeous mushrooms. So I'm just going to take one. Look, you can see these are honey mushrooms. They've got little fur growing on the caps. It's a telltale sign. Just grab one of these and show you the underneath part. And this is the perfect one when they're edible. When they get big like that, they're actually too mature. So when they get like that, you don't want to be eating them like that. But when they're small and round like this, they're just perfect. So all along this tree, you can see there are honey mushrooms. It's pretty cool.